Hello Taurus and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana and together we're going to go on a journey through the tarot cards to uncover your spiritual message and focus for the week. The first card is our theme card and we have, ooh, ah, oh, lovely, King of Pentacles. This is an interesting card. We are, we are the earth element uh, Taurus and pentacles is the earth element. So this is very much about that element of the earth. So this is a very personal card for us, I feel. So this king of pentacles is talking about money matters. It's talking about financial attrition. It's also talking about being supported and feeling abundant. It's talking about all those wonderful good things. And if you're in a space of not feeling that way, this card is assuring you that that's not really the truth, that you are supported in your abundance, no matter what. This is a very strong energy. This is a good energy for listening. It's important to listen this week, Taurus. Perhaps listen more than one talks. Now you're feeling like the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so your energy is in a little bit of a different space. It's it's trying to be more connected to your emotions. It's in that space that's not quite in reality, actually. <laughs> She's in a more liminal space, the space between worlds. And this is actually asking you to come back down to earth, back down to the ground. If you have anything that you've learned or gleaned from here, bring it back down to the ground and put it into action. Make it, make it become real. But this is also a thought that you're really trying to heal yourself emotionally. That there is a strong emotional maybe upheaval within yourself and you're doing whatever you can to try to ground it back down, to try to, to overcome it and to try to let it process out. So let's keep going with your message. I'm curious to see where we're going next. Six of Cups, looking back. Five of Pentacles, also looking back. And the Feralilt. Okay. So the order of these cards, okay, tell me to put these down for a second. We're looking at these. Okay, it's almost as if you're being asked to redo your past, redo a past trauma, redo a past hurt or a past crisis. Um, for me personally, I'm, I'm also a Taurus. I know they're talking to me about a past life situation, but I want to focus on yours right now. The fair lilt is things coming together, things being blended and not really needing. This is a place of harmony. This is a, a lovely card, lovely energy, lovely, calm, blended energy. So the idea of trusting flow, of understanding that everything is happening as it needs to happen for you right now. This is really a strong card of trust and a trust in alchemy, a trust in magic, the magic of the universe. It's definitely hard to feel that way when you're in this five of pentacles energy. She's sad. She, there's been some kind of hardship, whether it's material or emotional, there's been some kind of crisis. The reason why I'm saying past is because when I see my six of cups, I know we're going back to the past a little bit. So this point of getting out of the flow, out of this feeling like you have everything and everything's working for you, that feeling where you feel completely at peace. I know we've all had moments. Some of us have had longer moments than just a, a fleeting second of this, but the sense or the state when you're at peace, something happens to pull you away from that. So I'm, oh, Taurus, this is hard because I'm speaking through a lot of different levels right now. Because there may have been a trauma in your childhood, there may have been a trauma in your adulthood, there may have been a crisis or a belief in a crisis that pulls you out of that state of being connected to the magic of the universe. And part of the pain here is that you're not sure why you were disconnected from it. You know, all of a sudden you're in that flow, you're with the universe, everything is moving and abundance is opening for you. And then all of a sudden it's not. And there's a crisis moment where, you know, what did I do? What could I do? What have I done? <laughs> or why did this happen? And the Six of Cups is coming in as a sweeter energy to remind you that there is really no crisis. 
Out of every crisis comes growth. Out of every negative situation comes a positive direction forward. And the only way we can have growth is towards the sun. Not many plants grow in the dark. In fact, mushrooms aren't really a plant, they're a fungus. So we're gonna hold off on the technicalities for a second. Most of us, humans included, need the sun to grow. We need vitamin D. And vitamin D also um, protects your immune system, which also protects your health. So we literally need to grow towards the sun for our health. And you'll notice there's a lot of light in this card and she may feel like the sun is going down on her, that it's given up on her, but it's not true. The six of cups comes in to give her a lighter awareness of, wait a second, you know, things are not as bad as you thought. There's just a lighter energy with this card, asking you to look at things with a bit of a lighter, softer, sweeter perspective and how, looking at how you can recover coming back to that blend. The other secret is that this so-called crisis is actually a gift of transformation from the universe. It was a moment, a, a gift, really, I keep saying gift, a blessing of transformation from the universe. And so we finally, I'm gonna bring these all back together for you. It's kind of like the parents are coming to meet the kid, the kid here. But all of this, First, we're connected to the magic and the flow of the universe. We lose it. We need to kind of understand that we never lost it, but that we have to soften the way we're looking at it. All comes back into the Queen of Cups. So she's saying when you have an emotional handle on this, when you no longer feel traumatized by your crisis, when you no longer feel blamed or feel as though you are to blame for it, when you understand that it was a moment of transformation for you, and that you see there was a lot of positive growth from this moment. When you get your emotional self under control, here comes your abundance, ready and willing. In fact, this whole time, the abundance card, this ten of uh, king of pentacles, he's the only card who's been looking at you the whole time. These other ones are, are looking inward, or looking at each other, but he's looking straight at you. So he's saying, you know, I am you. This is your birthright. I am right here for you. Get all of this emotional stuff under control, and I am right here for you. So <laughs> amazing message, Taurus. And um, questions about that, if you'd like to leave a comment, I always love to hear from you. Also would love it if you would like or subscribe if you haven't so far. And if you are on your journey looking for some different perspective or some guidance on the way forward, please check out my website, True Guidance Tarot. I do love to work with people that want to go forward, that are willing to learn and love to have an open mind. And if that's you, I would love to work with you. So uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week.